The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the funniest and most loving homosexual. We, uh, yeah, we all know and love him. Mr. J. You know you long time. Yeah, buddy. It's good shit. Good shit. Love you on the show. And he is the funniest person in Wichita, Kansas of 2021. And but he, he sucks now. He there were not sure very many does. people here in 2021 yeah, or something. That's yes. correct. Was that during the pandemic? It's COVID. It's yep, COVID. COVID. Yeah, had yeah. to be. The wreck himself, Mr. Derek Alders. Just kidding, wrong button. That was one I wanted. Oh. That, is, that reflects my mood. I am so happy to be here. Yeah, I knew you would be, man. When he told me that it was going to be all of us doing the show, I was fucking pumped because I was like, Derek's going to be so hyper and so excited to be I, here. I am fucking ready. I can tell. Yeah. I was listening to Beastie Boys on the way over. Oh, yeah, got to fight for your you right. Know, got a little DMX going. So now all I'm, right. I'm Let's fucking, do this I'm shit. That shit will pump you up. Yeah, Hell that yeah, shit will be And I did a bunch of cocaine. Well, that... Uh, so, yeah. I wondered. Yeah. I wondered. Yeah. Because yeah. you've made three movements since you've been here. I was I like, know. that's three more than he normally makes. <laughs> yeah. One of them was to lift my ass cheek yeah, to the heart. But then the other two were serious. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's good to have everybody back. Uh, we have an excellent show for you guys today. No, we don't. We do. No, it's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. So good. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to drag it down a little, I think. Probably. Probably, but that's okay. Yeah, that's that's your normal. We're here to pick uh, you up, buddy. That's, that's your basic. You, you're not strong enough. <laughs> I'm going to try my damnedest. <laughs> yeah. That's the basic bitch personality for Derek Alders. That's, uh, that's what like it is. Like I said, I have resting suicide face. <laughs> <laughs> and no gun. <laughs> <laughs> If only he if had only it. he had a gun. Maybe he's got the gun. He just doesn't <laughs> have the bullets. bullets. That's, that's yeah. You can't find ammo. He's anywhere. been he's been dry firing that motherfucker for years. <laughs> I've got a gun and thirteen reasons. I just yeah. don't have a bullet. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, guys, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. Watch someone send us bullets. <laughs> <laughs> like, just get them off Please, the Please, for the love of God. <laughs> Here's one of each caliber I can think of. Surely one of them will fit. <laughs> Nine millimeter. That's, that's great. Uh, uh, but this is also an adult podcast. Where we like to use foul language and offend as many people as we possibly can. So if you have thin skin, you're in the wrong place, get the fuck out of here. Thanks. By okay, uh, we boo, do have, bitch. Yeah, boo. Uh, but we do have uh, a lot of stuff to talk about. We've got uh, we over, do. yeah, we do. Okay. <laughs> That's well, not what he was saying before we came on. Yeah, uh, no, I just said I didn't have a whole bunch of sports, no. but I got some fun news uh, of a little something I'm gonna try out. But uh, we got overrated or underrated as usual, and yep, I'm that guy, and fuck that guy. Uh, questions and preguntas. I know JP's answer to all of those. I was just that ready to guy. Say it. Yeah, yeah <laughs> sure is. Yeah. Um, except for that, uh, Gorgoth, the, the destroyer, Gorgoth the destroyer or whatever. Oh <laughs> yeah. my God. Yeah, that's a dude. That's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, we that's also have a great draft and as always a shitty situation, but before we get to that, we're going to tell everybody what's been going on with us over the last week. Uh, so, uh, who wants to start? You know what, JP, you know what? I Since feel like you know, you've got the most climactic stories oh every time you're I here. Know, I cannot tell you the amount of fun that I had last week. He lives the climax. That's true. Oh my God. That's I true. did. I did everything I wanted to do last week. Yeah. I smoked pot. I played video games. I went bowling. I played some cards. That's it. I got I'm so simple, man. Okay. I, I legitimately have a question. So All right. are you a righty or a lefty? Depends on which glory. Depends hole on what I'm in. doing. Uh, well, obviously, like jer- bowling. No, jerking it. Oh, I have to use both. You have to use both. 
Oh, yeah. That's so smart. I was going to say, if you're dominant one hand or the other, generally your dick starts to go in that particular direction with as much as you masturbate probably with being lonely and stuff like that. I wanted to know if it goes to one direction or the other. Fucking straight as an arrow, <laughs> 12 inches up. <laughs> oh, 12 inches. All right. That's good for you. Fucking uh, foot long. <laughs> Who had the foot long? <laughs> Roast beef au jus. Uh, so what is the primo marijuana that you've got right now? Does it have any funky name? It does have a funky name. What? However, <laughs> I don't fucking know what the name of it is. What? I mean, it's from the dispensary. Oh. It's good shit. Okay. I mean, I don't smoke it if it's not good. I, I, I wanted to like. But I, I can, I've got. I've got the bag at home. I could text you the name of it. That's what I want to know. Because I, I remember what the, the names were back whenever I was younger and whenever I was smoking it. Like, Blue Satellite was fucking awesome. We even wrote a song about Hawaiian gold. Okay. Like, that was some good shit. But I, I, I like the names that they would come up with. It was now, all creative. So here's the thing. Like, before I started getting the shit from the dispensary, you could just make up whatever the fuck you wanted to say it was. 100%. So I never really paid that much of attention. And I would, oh, I've got this or I've got this. I was like, I want whatever the best is. <laughs> give me, give me <laughs> the burgundy the, the, give me ass the, hairs. Yeah, I mean, give me, give me the good shit. I don't care what it's called. <laughs> okay. Well, fair so enough. now, even though I, I mean, I has, has the label on it and everything, I don't ever pay attention. Oh, you got to pay attention. Those names are great. They're actually like Jeremy's bands, the ones that well, he like, yeah. he, They're the ones that he cut from. Like, he was just like, nope, I can't nope, deal. I can't do it. No, nope, can't do it yeah, with you. I uh, I always wanted to grow my own, and the whole time that I was growing, play uh, Willy Wonka's Pure Imagination, <laughs> and that's what I would call it, Pure Imagination. Pure imagination. It would be the happiest weed in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> Until Someday, you smoke life it. goals, you know? Yeah. I should have put that on my bucket list. Yeah, you should have. You Son really should have. Son of a should've. bitch. Did you, did you, I'm a week late. Yeah. Did you do anything else, any, any kind of fun? Did you eat anything spectacular? Like, I'm reaching for anything I can possibly grab here. I don't remember his name. <laughs> oh god grinder yeah i figured yeah yeah that's yeah. uh is there straight people on grinder <laughs> i mean <laughs> <laughs> gotcha <clears throat> that bad huh i mean they say they're straight but oh <laughs> well yeah you know uh, i mean no <laughs> okay because otherwise what the fuck are you doing on grinder i don't know i've Just never roll right. up your app and ask them <laughs> yeah, yeah i was gonna say uh, don't act like i've seen your ass on there no it's, it's, i have i'm not on there i don't know how no. it works uh, okay. I don't know how it works. <laughs> I don't. Well, I'll teach you. JP swipes left on you every time. I'm sure. There's no swiping. <laughs> oh, it's no not swiping. No, there's no swiping. Mm -mm. What's the what's the thumbs up or thumbs down? No, nope, you just fucking it's a grid. You just fucking. Oh, they're close. Build. Oh, yeah. It's by it's by vicinity. They've got radar systems with this shit. It's called radar. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, that's what it is. Yeah. OK. Oh, yeah. Uh, that, fucking tells you within the foot. What the fuck is wrong with all of these other straight apps? What, I mean, the like foot. Jesus, I thought we were still on inches. Besides, uh, besides, <laughs> what's wrong with all the straight apps? Besides the women on them. Oh, well, I mean, that's what does it for me. I guess. I mean, if you could get rid of those, I'd join yeah. plenty of fish or yeah. whatever the fuck you guys got. Now. <laughs> that's a perfect one for lesbians. Yeah, yeah. plenty of plenty fish. Of fish. <laughs> Ugh, too much fish. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, fine. Well, uh, thank you for your week there, JP. Nothing's changed. Uh, Derek, you want to go? Sure. Go for it. Um, a lot of baseball. Yeah. We are, uh, I probably shouldn't say this, God damn, are we tough to watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fucking terrible. Uh, I, it, uh, uh, there, yeah. There's like three players on this team I hate. Okay. <laughs> like, like, I go in and that's I look at their weird. roster and they're on it, and I go, fuck. <laughs> like, because we haven't released them yet. Um, mm. They showed the highlight video on one game. Uh huh. One highlight. <laughs> one, one highlight. That, that was, was the real. They, for have the whole two, year. they have two minutes for highlights. Wow. <laughs> they one. showed one. One. Uh, we are bad. Did they at least put it in slow motion so it took two minutes? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. no. That's no. how I made it. It would have yeah. looked so bad. That's how I made it. Jeremy Joseph's like promo video yeah, work. So, is, yeah. You got to put him in slow mo. You got to put him in slow mo. That's right. So uh, I was off the last, the week before that. I did, uh, I did go do some stuff that weekend. I went to, went to the zoo on Memorial Day. See some animals fuck? I thought it was getting ready to go down. <laughs> I thought, it was, I thought it was popping off in the chimpanzee uh, exhibit. No, it wasn't the chimps. God damn it. What was it? It was like a, there was an owl and so I think it was some turtles. An owl <laughs> and some turtles. Yeah. Well, I'm shocked they didn't yeah, fuck. That's because a hybrid. If you've ever seen an owl and a turtle, no. they're usually they're fucking. No, I was trying to think what was in that exhibit. It was two turtles <laughs> fucking. The owl would have been sweet if it would have joined in. And turtles but, make funny noises whenever they're fucking. Just, 
You should hear the noises they make when you fuck one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's yeah. much louder, but mm-hmm. same noise. So, but uh, yeah, they they thought it was happening, and I think the other one wasn't having it, so it kind of just like walked off. So, <laughs> Very yeah. slowly. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's Derek's superpower. Mm-hmm, yeah. yeah, that's if Derek were an X Men, it would be any place he goes where there's a shitload of animals, they all start so fucking. All start fucking. It's every that's time awesome. we got done with the zoo, and uh, I was like, "Well, it's fucking hot. I want to go. To, let's get some ice cream." So we went to Brahms to get ice cream, mm-hmm. and uh, my wife picked the one table that's in the grocery section. And I was like, so we're sitting there at the People table. People are shopping around you? No, there nobody shops at Brahms. I shop at <laughs> There's, I didn't know they had produce, but I guess they do. And so they oh. had like onions and potatoes. They have a bunch of weird shit. Yeah, so we're like yeah. right by that thing. And I looked at my wife and I was like, honey, uh, I'll give you $20 if you just go up and grab one of those potatoes and just be like, hand it to them. Like, can you just make me a shake? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, she wouldn't do it. I'm sure she wouldn't. Uh, it, was her, it would have been her $20. <laughs> but... <laughs> So I went and saw my buddy out at the lake one day. Um, shrooms? No shrooms. Okay. I good. did eat half of an edible. How'd that go? I don't think it. I don't think anything really happened. Yeah. No. Dude, uh, I ate half it, of an edible. About as. Edibles are. But dangerous. it was a hundred milligram one. And yeah, this one was. Like, I went to Narnia. <laughs> his buddy makes these things. Uh, However, yeah. we did have a conversation about fence pickets, so maybe. Maybe, maybe something. Maybe happened. it did happen. Yeah, uh, it shocks me though that like like I've heard that if you, if marijuana or those edibles don't actually have any effect on you, then you have a wicked metabolism, and that doesn't really show much for you. What I you would say that's about? not the case. That's definitely I not have the a case. Fantastic metabolism. Do you really? Yeah, it doesn't do shit. Just like <laughs> me. Just like me, me and my metabolism are fucking lazy. <laughs> we do just enough not to get fired. But if we, <laughs> <laughs> so and we pu- do. it is pushing it. It <laughs> yeah, is pushing. Yeah. My metabolism has been written up multiple, multiple times. Multiple times. You should see the file on this guy. Verbal and written warnings. Yeah. But it just still manages Ooh, to hang man. on. Oh, that's great. Uh, no, uh, my buddy Taylor uh, has a 4th of July party every year. And last year, they bought out uh, a small piece of dynamite sticks, like small dynamite sticks. Oh, okay. And they put one on the, like, 4 by 4 that was in the ground to hold the, that you screw the pickets and shit. Oh, too, sure, sure. Whatever. Sure. Uh, well, they put one on there and lit it, and it blew the fucking picket off. Wow. And so I'd asked if uh, this year at his party, if it was BYOP, <laughs> bring your own <laughs> picket. Good. And then it came down to the idea where I thought it would be hilarious, because usually there's like a, there's a shitload of people that go to this party. If, like, everybody at Lowe's all went and got one picket. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> like, all at the same Lowe's. <laughs> And like they went to the same guy's the same line guy to buy it at the same time. <laughs> so like there's just, just fucking one guy, yeah, tickets. like Chuck has <laughs> sixty two people in Me line. And they're at register one. Meanwhile, Betty in register two is like empty. I can help the next customer, yeah, and everybody's like, just staring. Good. Fuck you, Betty. <laughs> we're good. We're waiting for Sam. Nobody says yeah. anything. Nobody's turning just around talking fucking. to each other. You're just straightforward, <laughs> all with one picket. All in different vehicles and just all leave in different They would call the police. They would would be be. like, I don't know what's going on, but something is going on. I don't know why I found that. So maybe it was half the edible. Probably. (laughs) See, turns out it did work. It may have worked. It may have worked. And the other thing that I did notice is when we were driving home, I was driving 55 and I thought I was flying. (laughs) Yeah. So (laughs) So I was like, God damn. That's a thing. I mean, we were fucking moving. I have to use my cruise control. Everywhere I go. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just getting fucking lapped. <laughs> fucking, yeah, like. yeah. But when you put it on cruise, though, do you feel like you're going like, I can't believe I'm going this fucking fast. Like this is I feel like I'm going so much faster. No, when no. I put it on cruise, I just know I'm good. Oh, OK. Yeah. All right. Otherwise, I'm driving to work and then the people that I was supposed to work with that day come by me. And then they go back by me when they leave, and they come back by me, you know, I'm, and I'm still just fucking coming to work. Yeah, it's it's bad. Me and my wife split one, and my wife gets in the car <laughs> and looks at me, and I go, "Everybody's we're walking off to leave." I was like, "Honey," because it'd been like an hour and a half since we'd taken it, and I go, "Hey, do you want me to drive?" I know you had a couple of beers, and she's like, "Yeah." We get in the car. I'm like, "You okay?" And she's like, "I'm high as fuck." <laughs> I'm high as fuck, boy. I'm high as fuck, boy. Because <laughs> she never does that. Yeah. Shit. So that got me laughing oh, that's pretty funny. good. Oh, I would have loved that. <laughs> and then, uh, 
And then we did eat pizza. Um, uh, dude, we did eat four large pizzas. <laughs> I was getting ready to say now, one. Each. We got one large pizza and oh, split it. Okay. But uh, there were no Derek leftovers. Derek was no, super was disappointed. <laughs> Derek was super disappointed. I know. And then uh, I watched a couple of uh, a season finale and a series finale. Okay. What you got? Uh, I watched the season finale of Dave, which was fucking crazy. Dave. It's got Lil Dicky in it, and it's kind of loosely based on him. It's about because he's a he's a rapper, and it's kind of based on how he is and a little is like his character. He plays himself as a rapper, and he's going on tour and all this shit. But okay. The f- season finale had fucking Brad Pitt and Rachel McAdams, and whoa, it was nuts, and it was wow. fucking great. Uh, so I watched it, and then I watched the series finale of Ted Lasso. Oh my god. I bawled the whole way through it. Did you really? I'm so sad that it's gone. I'm sad it's gone too. Dude, it, it was, was an amazing show. show. Who's oh, your it's, favorite it's, character? It's finally over. It's finally over. Like, there's yeah, no more yeah. seasons it's after done, this. Though. Thank fuck um, God. It's got to be Beard. Mine's a Beard's great. Gotta be I, like Beard. I, like I, like I like Roy. I like Roy. I like Roy. I also like Trent. Oh, Trent Krim? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. also really yeah. like how, you know, they've developed him along the way, too. I've I've seen what these, a fucking amazing show, man. I've seen these videos on TikTok now of all the fucking Easter eggs that were in it. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. I miss so much. But, yeah, it was fantastic. So we, I'm sad that's over. But it was very well done. I think they pretty well wrapped everything up. Yeah, I think they, I think they left. I love the fact that they left a lot to your imagination. That they're, you know, they gave you, okay, there's persons going in this direction. Yeah. But whatever they're going to do is up to you. And yeah. this person's going this way. And but they, you're not they like, did what a good, happened with such they, and yeah, such? They, they did a pretty said, good job. They did a yeah. pretty good job. I still hate the fact that it's over. Oh, oh I my too. God. I'm so great. fucking happy. Fuck right. that show. The amount of times that people uh, tagged us about that show. That's great. Hey, he was the coach at Wichita State. It's like, no shit. Uh, we hear that daily. And so I'm just. Well, that's ah, good. I'm so I'm so well, I don't hear that. God. It's over. You know what? It's over. I didn't think I could like anybody less than Derek, but you just fucked it up. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah. So now go fuck yourself. That's right. probably one of the best series oh, I've ever seen. Oh, it was fucking like phenomenal. Yeah. How did you not think so? I, yeah. I didn't, I didn't yeah, even try. I didn't, I, he you, probably man. hasn't watched it. It's like me in that show as Derek to Matt Reif. That's basically what it is. Matt Reif is beautiful. I'm sure. And yeah. how dare you say anything wrong about him? <laughs> I just don't fucking give a shit about him. Long I don't. St- well, I don't. long story short, Matt Reif is coming to Wichita, Kansas for a show. He's doing two <sighs> shows now. I guess at, he's the big news all over because I think his, his tickets for every yeah, dropped today. He, or yeah, something. exactly. He's got a special that he's going to do, so he's doing a tour and he's going a lot of places. He's coming a to Wichita, a lot of fucking places. Me like, and that JP, nonstop. I want him. Want to go see him? You want to go see him? I want him. Uh, you okay. guys have a great time together. Yeah, <laughs> Scotty, I think you might get some ass. Oh, I guarantee it. I don't want it during the show. No, I'm, I'm out. Yeah, no, uh, you'll you'll like it. But no, I, I just think it's very shocking. Do you I, know how many bachelorette I, parties are going to be? At that oh my god, show? I guarantee it. Oh god damn it! And the he t- gets so much pussy. One hundred percent. He's so beautiful. He does a bit on stage about how he thought that yeah. he was in love with a girl, but mm. she got really weird. No, they no, she didn't. She didn't get weird. You just had like flocks of vagina just swarming you after every fucking yeah. show. Yeah. yeah. So don't give me that bullshit. Uh, but no, I hope uh, I hope we get an opportunity to go. Oh, me too, bro. I want to go bad. Maybe we can talk him into coming on the show. Oh God, you guys have fun. I'll, me I'll and JP would have a blast. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. I'm glad nobody could see our hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, but no, I had a, I had a great week. Uh, I Oh, we haven't heard about your week. <clears throat> no, Hold on. No, no. Go ahead. No, you're, you're going to love it. Uh, so we had the, the video that kind of got a lot of traction about Jeremy's story about uh, waving to the Barbara. Realtor, Barbara. Yeah. And uh, you know what? I was really happy with a lot of the comments that were in the, in the comment section of the TikTok. It was really cool as people just like, that's hilarious. You know, all that shit. But then there are these motherfuckers that are just absolute assholes, and these are the people that I really didn't think existed. I really thought that right. everybody would see the humor in this joke. There were people that are like so just obsessed with logistics of them of of Jeremy calling it the fast lane, or me calling it the left lane, and everybody's like, "Well, technically, it's the fucking passing lane." No, it's the lane that you don't go five miles an hour under the goddamn speed limit. And then there's one motherfucker, and I won't point out the names, 
But he made the comment. He's like, well, technically, if he's going the speed limit in the left lane, then he's kind of following the rules. It's the passing lane. So you have to pass him going the speed limit. Fuck you. I don't give a rat's ass. If you're on a two-lane highway, you try to pass a semi-truck going fucking 60 when they can only go 55. You're going to get into a head-on collision and die. So no, it's not how it fucking works. But anyways, that's just me venting. Yeah, I, man, wow. It got to that me. Was, it got to me. You're kind of harsh in my mellow. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like it. I don't even know what video you guys are Yeah, I about. know. You won't watch anything that doesn't have you involved. But anyways. <laughs> no, I blocked you guys a long time ago. I figured as much. Um, but So there was that. But I uh, thank you for all the people that shared that video and thought it was funny. And I, that was kind of the whole point. Uh, but uh, I did uh, I did what I always do. I, I take the advantages of going golfing. Uh, but my wife and I don't get to hang out very much. I do the podcast. I work all these hours and stuff like that. You so do the I, podcast once a week, bro. I stay up until three o'clock in the morning and make yeah, sure it's posted okay. on time that's and cool. do Man. all the fucking editing and shit. But anyways, no, you're that's so the cool. Point. But she wants to spend as much time with me as possible, watch TV shows, all of that other shit. So she took that's up a fucking she, lie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's that a lie. is a lie. It's that's true. Um, but no, so she's she, over at her golf coach's yeah, house right now. Right. Maybe. Yeah, uh, hey, divorce is in the veneer future. And that's okay. Um, and this is why. So I, I uh, she, she, she has taken um, up golf to try to be able to spend time with me. And I give her a lot of credit. She went and had lessons. She invested in, like, looking good on the course and stuff like that. And I had seen her play a couple times. And, and uh, you know, it uh, – it was just us, and nobody was behind us or in front of us, so I wasn't rushed. Well, I golfed with her twice this week, and uh, my wife sucks. It, I can't do it no more. It was the most frustrating thing in the world. I've got nothing but five seniors in their own golf carts behind us, and my wife has to swing four or five times to hit a goddamn golf ball. And so, uh, yeah, I was uh, very frustrated. Um, but <laughs> what the fuck? Hats off to that. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. but had a good time, uh, other than that. Uh, and yeah, that was, uh, pretty much my week. Uh, never doing it again. I'm just going to wow. golf by myself. Are you okay, man? No, I'm it's in a not, mood. I'm in a mood yeah, today. You are in a mood, dude. I, I, I just, I just got a little Your poor out. wife. I don't man. think any of us want to be here. Keep laughing. Assholes. Keep laughing assholes <laughs> and, uh, tell your friends and shit. Yeah. And you know that that whole deal. Honestly, I think it's pretty cool that she's actually trying to get into it, and I know she's going to get better. I just that's want her nice to, of her yeah. to do to want to spend time with you, for you to just be like, "I'm never doing it again." Fuck I, that bitch. You're right. That's that's yeah, a little too dude, harsh. You're kind of a douche. I, that, that's a little too harsh. Honestly, fuck that guy. Uh, yeah, fuck that. Fuck guy. that guy. Honestly, honestly, yes, I will do it again. She just needs to get a lot fucking better before I do. So that's that. Uh, but that's my week. Anybody? Wow. <laughs> Yeah. I feel like I should have got more higher uh, before I started this deal. I should have got and lower. I got way high before I started, and I feel like it wasn't enough. Now I'm trying to I'm trying to claw our way back up from the bottom, and you guys are just fucking bringing me just down, bringing man. It down. Um, but uh, I did uh, watch the season finale. Do you have uh, enough fucking pens, man? No, it's for all of us down here. All three of us, there's eight pens. <laughs> Do we all need two and then a couple backups? Uh, Derek's got one in his hand, and I have one in mine, and there's eight just sitting on there. So right. just in case we have a full-blown orgy, or if the kids decide to come out of the uh, Yeah, that's you know, true. The, the, they the could, room, that could happen. They can color and that's stuff. That's a good call. But uh, I did also watch the, the season finale for um, uh, the Curse of Oak Island. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, no, no. No, check Dude, this I out. Dude, I don't want to hear it. That's because still a the, season what you finale? said about fucking Ted Lasso, and then you're going to bring up Oak Island, you're going to compare, even say that you think Oak Island's better than Ted Lasso? Absolutely fucking not. You are a fool. I said, I said, oh, you not. said not. I said not. Okay. No. Well, you think Deadliest Catch is better than Ted Lasso? 100 fucking percent. <laughs> you're so dumb. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> You know, know. it's not uh, I, deadliest catch. No, I don't know because I've never seen it. It's it's I the deadliest catch is AIDS. I mean, basically, is it? I think so. No, no. magic. Johnson. It was COVID for two. Years. It was COVID for two years. But. <laughs> and then everybody figured out it was a fucking cold. Anyways, all right, uh, but that is my week. So I hope all of you guys had a great week out there. Now we get to move on to the current events. Uh, but before we do that, I want to give a shout out um, to BattleCornCarePackages.com. I know Curtis is is really trying to get to his goal of $25,000 uh, that he can give to uh, a charity for, I believe it is. Uh, he gives $25,000 to it's me. It's pediatric cancer. No, I would much rather give it to these kids. As I agree. Okay. Uh, but pediatric cancer research, I want everybody to go and check them out. I know um, it kind of. 
it's kind of a rough subject in a comedy show, but it's something serious that I really do want to be a part of. And I, uh, my hats off to Curtis, his family, and uh, hope that they can get there. So go check them out at battlecornecarepackages.com. Sincerely appreciate everything that they do. Let's get to some current events because we got a lot of fun stuff to get to. Obviously, we've got the NBA playoffs going on. It's tied one to one, right? Yeah. 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 So it's obviously not rigged. Oh, well, no. I mean, I don't know. They yeah, fixed that. Yeah, they yeah, fixed, exactly. that. They yeah. fixed that years mm-hmm. ago. Sure. They Tim fired Donahue a bunch of gone. It was yeah. the refs, bro. The yeah. refs were throwing the games. Yeah. They proved it. Who cares? Uh, but uh, we have the NHL playoffs as well. That I care about. You actually give a shit about that. I've been yeah. watching both. And I told you. That Vegas is going to fucking destroy them, you and did. you just laughed. No, I didn't laugh. No, you did. You thought yesterday? I was crazy. It's <laughs> hockey. Did, did I fake? Right. Did I no. fake laugh? No, you thought I was crazy. You thought Florida was just going to destroy them. I mean, I think like, you're fucking Florida, crazy. So, but you that's... said Florida's so much better than they are, and blah. I don't know happens. anything about hockey. Well, it didn't stop you from having an opinion. Oh no. Uh, well, you rewatch the show. Okay, that's fine. Maybe I I'm just it. saying I was right. I have an opinion about it. Everything it just sucks sometimes. Yeah, uh, but uh, but yeah, I'm super stoked about that. I, I'm sure, and I kind of want to watch. I was kind of bummed out that while we're recording, it's not on, but it's yeah. not. But uh, so yeah, we have obviously have the playoffs that's going on, and so uh, there's not really a whole lot you know to dive into that. I guess I don't think unless Derek has something to say. The ending of that fucking Miami Denver game was game fantastic. two, yeah, uh, yeah that, that was, was great. And the ending of that game. fucking Celtics game, <laughs> yeah, that to, uh, Celtics game the was awesome. game six yes, where he yes. point yes. one that was yeah, that fucking was awesome, crazy. Dude. And that one guy, the one TikTok that I saw that went viral, and it was the one guy on the other side of the fucking. And he was like, yeah, baby, I told you. We were gonna. Yeah. Everybody's like ready to fucking just destroy Well, him, because dude. they were all giving him they were all, shit. Yeah, the and whole then time. He's like, yeah. the very, he's like, I told yeah. all you. Yeah. And yeah. he's wearing like a fucking Tom Brady yeah. jersey. Yeah. yeah. That was fucking nuts, that was awesome. man. I love seeing that. That was dope. And I, they saw one that was a wedding. And everybody oh, yeah. at the wedding, at that was game six. I saw that, too. Everybody at the wedding is like, yeah! They're like, wait, wait, wait! And then they're like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> I thought for sure Boston was going to come back. It's just like marriage. It's just like marriage. It's all exciting, and then it's such uh, a letdown. It's like, oh, And then she fuck. sucks at golf. And then she has, yeah, then she sucks at golf, and apparently that's the fucking that's, sin. That's and she it. tries to take an interest in what you do, yeah, and she's God, terrible yeah, at it, right. so fuck her. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, Stick to sucking dick and washing dishes. (laughs) (laughs) Doing laundry. Um, So there is that, uh, I guess, breaking news on Wednesday, golf-related. Did you hear about Liv and the Pro Tour? I don't know anything about golf. All you need to know is that a whole bunch of people went to a different league and got paid a shitload of money, and there were all of these other golfers that stayed with the uh, PGA Tour and didn't take a shitload of that money. This was like the Monday Night Wars with WWF and WCW. And then now they've just all of a sudden merged, and so the PGA Tour basically fucked all of these guys that were loyal to the pga tour oh i didn't know they combined they combined oh that's dirty dirty as fuck. because they were like if you go there you'll never play on the money you never play on the pga tour again they threatened them if you leave us oh so all these people that left to go to live are the fucking geniuses because now the the other idiots are over here with the fucking shitty yeah. money. Yeah, exactly. Oh, they lost so out on awesome. so much cash. And, that, <laughs> and that's why that's awesome. I'm like, oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, good this, for golf, man. This is why when somebody says... I can't believe they combined. I that's can't believe awesome. you would just do it for the money. This is a perfect example of oh, why awesome. you do. So anyways, yeah. there's that. Um, but uh, I did also see that uh, there was a lot of trash talking in another sport that I don't give a shit about, but it's worth uh, mentioning. That it must the- be a woman's sport. Ooh, you know me well. No, actually, it was kind of an exhibition. It's, it's women's golf. No. Not, 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 no. Yeah, no, that was during, the, that was his week, week recap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a different women's sport, I'm sure. Uh, it is. Uh, actually, there is like an Stick ex- to bacon and butt fucking. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite, bacon and butt fucking. Me too. <laughs> Shit. Me too. Uh, no, there was uh, an exhibition tournament for soccer here in the United States. Yeah, it was a soccer. It was a soccer tournament, but it was actually kind of cool. It was kind of co-ed. No, it wasn't. Uh, give me, give me a second. It was uh, kind of quick <laughs> because there was a trans. <laughs> <laughs> Man, so. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so there was a, a team that had a whole bunch of like uh, previous like players from old U.S. soccer teams or a lot of like. 
professional soccer players, but they were all girls on one team and they played a whole bunch of like retired men, soccer players from other leagues and stuff like that. And they ended up, the girls in it were like talking shit. And I don't know if they were actually being serious or not, but uh, foot and mouse syndrome, they got smoked 12 to nothing in that. Yeah, of game. course they did. Come the fuck on. What did you think was going to happen? Uh, so yeah, there is that, uh, but the fun stuff, I want to get over that shit. Did you see, we, we kind of skipped over the hockey, but there was a reporter, uh, for Miami's news crew that was actually giving her like game two report in the Stanley cup playoffs. So she's from Miami, obviously a Florida fan. And there was a golden Knight fan that was trying to get into the, the shot of her giving her report. And she fucking stiffed armed that motherfucker out of it the whole you time. You get stiff armed here in just a second. Fella. I got a right hook. That'll, that'll say nothing. <laughs> uh, Fair enough. <laughs> I think so. You just keep, keep dreaming. But buddy. I got to give props to her. She, she kept that she drunk motherfucker. Hell yeah. And she tweeted about it later and was like, I'm not letting somebody come into my thing, doing my <laughs> job. And I got to give her credit. She's right. I mean, don't be that douchebag fan. Uh, be be a little bit nicer. I got I got a baseball thing. What you got? Have you seen this, uh, Luis Arias? No. He's hitting three ninety nine right now. Good for him. We are now in June, so that's one of those like early April stats that you can throw out. Yeah. Yeah. He's got uh, eighty three hits. Uh, he. I mean, this is as far as I can remember. Somebody flirt, flirting with four hundred. Good for him. So Good Miami for him. Marlins second baseman. Yeah, all of you Cardinal fans out there that think that there's a snowball's chance in hell that we're going to make the playoffs, keep fucking dreaming. It ain't going to God. It's not. going That's happen. a terrible division. God, it sucks. It sucks. You know what sucks? Baseball. <laughs> <laughs> the AL and NL Central are pretty terrible. <sighs> Just the, the whole center of the MLB's country. MLB is not sucks. great. Uh, no, MLB is great. No, some of the best really athletes not. in the world play baseball. I don't know. That's that. totally true. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, but anyways, but. yeah, it's it sucks being a Cardinal fan right now, especially when you have a team full of all stars and you have a stupid ass coach. Fire John Elway played baseball. I'm sure he did. Patrick Mahomes played baseball. Good for him. Kyler Murray played baseball. Oh my god. Bo Jackson played baseball. Oh wow! I all of a sudden I love baseball. You should. Matt Rife plays baseball. <laughs> okay, now I love it. <laughs> Michael Jordan played baseball. Very good. Uh, he did. He sucked at it, though. Uh, but anyways, uh, moving on. Next thing, uh, Travis Kelsey and the Kansas City Chiefs made their way to the White House to uh, do what you're, you know, they everybody does. Go to the White House and after Travis you win Kelsey the Super Bowl. And Travis Kelsey fucking tried to steal the podium. And he fucking should have done it. I was really happy that he would. My what God, that was awesome. No, that that's fucking. Piece of oh, I think he's great. He actually said a full sentence, which our president can't do. But that's beside the point. I thought it was well, awesome. No, we're not doing politics. Oh, we're not. Uh, but... It was pretty cool that I, I thought it was. I think it was scripted. Obviously, I think uh, he told Patrick. It is Mahomes, the NFL, dumbass. See, of course, <laughs> I it's was scripted. waiting for it. Come on, duh. Um, but I thought that was pretty cool. I thought that was a given. Yeah, it, it is, is a given. It's, yeah. scripted. it's totally you tell given. them what to do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, that's all the sports stuff that I believe I have. Uh, but I did find some. This is from the Associated Press. Uh, uh, this is actually news stories or headlines that I wanted to see if you guys could figure out actually what happened and and, and let me know what you think about these in particular. Uh, this is all from the Associated Press. But uh, there was a fertility doctor accused of using his own sperm, and he died in a plane crash that he hand built the plane. Is what that do you the think same? That is this the same guy? Is this yeah. the same guy that got like in trouble for they the, found it? The documentary He's, dude. Yeah, yeah. Is it? Is it I that guy? I don't know. He has like fucking eighty some children or yeah. something. It's like stupid amounts of children. Bloodline that strong, man. That's that's kind of what you, I mean. You got to do it. Yeah, man. I mean, if I'm donating my sperm, I want to make sure. It's, so, what do you want to know about the guy? No, I want to know what you think happened. Why was this guy? Why did this guy build his own plane and die? Because he built his own goddamn plane. He I know. Fly commercial. Well, what do you think? He's like hauling in that thing. Why did it crash? Do you think it was too heavy with all the sperm loads that he's carrying around to get more kids? I think that's probably what he was doing. Did you set this up so that we could make jokes? Yeah, no, I just know did. like what you think of what actually would happen, but you don't have to if you don't want to. I don't get it. Okay, that's fine. Um, <laughs> Same. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, next one. This is this is actually another thing from the Associated Press. Uh, a Southern Illinois man has been charged with theft for allegedly stealing. 
stealing a backhoe to drive about 10 miles to an airport to catch his flight. I feel like I'm watching Jay Leno. <laughs> what? Have, have I don't you, even uh, think Jay Leno was this, this have bad. You, uh, have, you, have you seen this? Have you, have you, have you, have you heard this, about this? Uh, this, this happened uh, in the uh, middle uh, of the country. Uh, Southern uh, Illinois, man. Southern Illinois. Southern Illinois. Uh, has Shout been out. charged with uh, theft for allegedly stealing a backhoe to drive about 10 miles he to an airport. He stole a backhoe to go to the airport. Uh, ironically, a uh, uh, backhoe is uh, who JP likes to find on Grindit. Backhoe. <laughs> Hey. Kevin? <laughs> Kevin, Kevin Eubanks. He just fucking. <laughs> Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Have you heard about this? I fucking hate you too. <laughs> I gave you opportunities and you squander them. So fuck it. <laughs> no, I crushed that one. Yeah, <laughs> you knocked I it out of like, the park. Yeah, I feel like he couldn't have hit that one any harder. <laughs> Fine. No, these are your people. No, these are awesome. Let's do another one. These are <laughs> <laughs> these are Gee, your I people. Gee, I hope there's more. There, there are. There are more, oh, and good. I like them. Oh, good. No, but but these are your people, Derek. These are from Illinois. I don't know. Explain yourself. Uh, that's they're Southern Illinois. I'm from Central Illinois. Okay. Oh, um, I'm so sorry. I guess it really just depends on where he is flying to, why he was flying there. I mean, was it worth it? How was the backhoe fucking not locked? <clears throat> The keys are always in the backhoe. Are they? Yeah. Mm. They are. Mm. That That's what I tell all my bitches. The keys are in <laughs> yeah, the backhoe. The keys are in the backhoe. <laughs> always. On. All right, fine. Uh, a German court says it is giving an 82-year-old... You hear about this? This is from this overseas in Germany. Hey, hey, I thought this one was right up JP's alley. I thought about you. My paper. Is that a tick? No. no. I think that's a tick. That better not be. No, nope. Nope. Can't it's not. a tick. You can't. It's impossible. Yep. It's just a little fly. Oh, no, I just, think that's Scotty's superpower, tick crushing. Yeah. I think it's a crap. <laughs> crushing, <laughs> crushing ticks and crushing dicks. I, I thought about JP. Crushing ticks and sucking dicks. <laughs> okay, that's great. what Scotty German does. No, that's what JP does. Um, I thought about JP when I saw this headline. A German court says it is giving an 82-year-old man his last warning to avoid, avoid jail time after he was found guilty of dealing drugs despite his 24 previous convictions. Is that you in like 40 years, JP? <sighs> I don't think so because it'll be legal. You think so? In Kansas? No. Uh, they'll, they'll legalize it federally. Oh, uh, okay. So at some point. Yeah, but the states override the... Nah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Uh, but no, I think you're right. It will eventually be legal. But I, I hate figured, that because then, like, I don't sell that. I only sell to, like, a few people. Oh, I'm sure. If just, I if I called you and said, hey, can I get some? I would say no. Okay. Really? Yeah, I don't like you. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> fuck you. Go fuck yourself. Thanks, no, man. I'd hook you up, man. Okay. I'd charge you extra, but I'd hook you up. And I would understand that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I got to pay you for your services. And you're rich. That, <laughs> Scott, and you can afford rich. it. Uh-huh. He's super rich. Uh, fine. Last one of this shit show. Uh, a female-led reboot of The Office is in the works and will be released and set in Australia. Why the fuck do you guys have to fuck something up that's already good? Why? I mean, I you like it. the office, but you don't like Ted Lasso. That's what I was gonna say. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? That's exactly where I was going. I don't like. I like this whole the Ted Lasso thing's really got me fucked, man. <laughs> it's really messing with me, man. I've never seen it. Well, then shut the fuck up about it. I don't want to purchase another streaming service like Apple TV. Oh, Apple TV is great. There's I, so many good shows it's on fucking there. Fucking spectacular. I don't it's give a fuck. It's better than fucking history and you pay for that. No, I don't. Well, you did. I did. Yeah. That was a fucking mistake. You were right. Uh, but no, why do they, okay. why do you want to ruin a good thing when it had actors and actresses that did a great job? You could argue that they ruined it when they did the American version. But they didn't because uh, obviously we can look at the numbers and British see show or something it was initially. A, and and uh, Gervais was great in it. Yeah, Gervais. Ricky Gervais. Yeah, yeah. And, and he was great in it. But if you look at the one that has the highest ratings and things like that, it's the American version. Because American people are fucking slow and stupid and oh, no, binge watch TV. Probably constantly. for like the first and, six months, they thought it was a documentary. Right. <laughs> They're they like, thought, man, this, yeah. this paper company. Right. Is it a paper company? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. This paper company, man, I can, I can get on board with them. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking about applying. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Can I work remote? <laughs> yeah. I'd like, I want to stay here in Alabama. <laughs> I don't want to have to move to Pennsylvania. Well, good luck to those uh, people that are trying to reboot that shit because all, all female cast member reboots always do exceptionally well in the box office or on TV. Uh, that is current events for this week. Uh, thank God. Now we can move on to stuff that... You're just really shitting pass. on women today, aren't you, Scotty? Um, 
I, I kind of have a I kind of have a thorn in my side for them right now. Mm. After it took me four hours to play eighteen <laughs> holes with my wife, two fucking people. Anyways, uh, now we get to move on to the fun parts of the show. Uh, we get to move on to. Oh, oh there's for- a fun part. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I thought it was all going to be this shit. <laughs> yeah, have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Have you heard about this? <laughs> it's from Germany. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> The Over- crafts are saying. <laughs> Overrated or underrated again. Guys, if you have any suggestions, you can send them to us uh, on Twitter. Uh, I'm f- paying attention to that more now. And uh, people are getting through because we already have uh, quite a few uh, listeners who sent us messages that we're going to use on this week's episode. You can go to Twitter at LOT Sidelines. Uh, and if we like what you sent, we will uh, let you know about it and give you a shout out on the show. So this week's first one is from a listener. And his name is Brian. I believe it's pronounced Hebbard. Brian Hebbard. Brian shout Hebbard. out. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Boop, boop. Uh, he wants to know, overrated or underrated, matching family t-shirts. Fucking underrated. Underrated as fuck. Why? It makes the idiots so easy to spot. <laughs> Well, there's a whole gaggle of dipshits. <laughs> That's I true. know. I, you <laughs> know what? I was going to say overrated, but I'm, I'm on board. <laughs> yeah. I'm on board. That's Underrated. Like, look at all these motherfuckers. Right. Yeah, it helps. Yeah. No, nope. that's cool because if they weren't wearing matching shirts, it'd take a lot longer to yeah. pick them out. Yeah. <laughs> that's fucking genius, man. Oh, you're an Anderson. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Yeah. It's always that fucking family at a, like doing a reunion at a theme park or some shit, and they all have to have matching shirts and shit so they can figure out who's with who. Well, I'm, I don't want to say this. <laughs> say it. I think black people started it. (laughs) (laughs) I am abstaining from the rest of this overrated, underrated. (laughs) Look, man. Look, I'm one of the most non racist people you'd ever want to meet. But I think that black people started this. <laughs> so underrated. So underrated. Oh, I'm going to go underrated as well because I agree with Derek's answer. And I, I can honestly say you can find the dumbasses a lot quicker because guess which family has done this and guess who has experienced that you're pointing out and raising your hand. You're an idiot. Me. All right, next one. The Germans got matching T-shirts, did they? The, the Germans had a family reunion, and even though it wasn't in any kind of a public place, by God, we all had matching blue T-shirts. Story of it is, there are four actual limbs of the family family tree. My grandfather has three brothers, and so each limb of the tree We're has a their own, a different color. It's the same shirt. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was cool, but I also see your point of being an idiot. Um, <laughs> next one, overrated or underrated, River Festival in Wichita, Kansas. JP, I am so curious to know about what your answer is. I say overrated. <laughs> oh, damn. Overrated. I think uh, especially listeners that, that aren't in our area need it's to know. It's just a fucking money grab. Uh, is it a money grab? Now or they're, is, what, 15 bucks for a button, I think? It's, I don't know how much it is for a damn button, but I know the food is fucking outrageous and the you fucking beer is you, outrageous. You couldn't pay me Plus, to go. To, to be around that many Wichitans in one centralized location not even just wichita it's not just from the bumfuck kansas that come for the festival yeah it's that's a hard pass for me uh so so everybody i i think everybody knows what kind of people go to these kind of festivals and things like that but if you can imagine like i don't know 50 percent of the people that you know and that are normal and 50 the uh, percent of the people that are fucking batshit crazy the ones that think the office is a documentary (laughs) <laughs> the ones that never saw Ted Lasso but talk shit on it. Okay. Those kind of people. That's Those who goes to people. River Fest. And then dwindle it down to the people that are actually maybe have mental disability problems and think maybe, all kinds maybe. of crazy shit. Yeah. Those are the people that go to this festival. They all don't Plus know Plus it's down by the river, so all the homeless are already there. That's <laughs> like, actually, they're but they're it, like, what the fuck is going on? All these fucking people come from. We're like honey, invading we, their territory. No, honey, <laughs> we got a rake the living room. We're yeah, having company. I guess. <laughs> fuck. 
Uh, but everybody fits in just fine because they all about the same hygiene level because yeah. the people that go to these things don't know what the fuck soap is. Yeah, it's, it, it's rough. It, it yeah. is rough, and they put it on in our city and make it look absolutely spectacular when it's all absolutely nothing but a bunch of bullshit. It's who, the same who was place. here? Who came here? Shaggy was here. Shaggy, yeah. that's right. That was the big draw. It's, uh, it's River, Mr. Boombastic. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? I'd have gone see that. I would yeah, love to you go probably see would. That. See, that doesn't surprise me. Uh, well, actually, the concert nights aren't as bad. The concert mm-hmm. nights aren't Seems as bad. bad. No, I got to see uh, I got to see Flog and Molly one night, and it was fucking lit as it fuck. It was last year. Willie Nelson, I think, was last year. Fuck yeah, yeah, yeah Willie's awesome. Packed. Dude, okay, so stupid. everything except for the People concert were night. The concerts like are awesome. a mile away. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Fuck that. Uh, I, yeah, I wouldn't do it, but no. Riverfest is like the only place that you can see a juggalo and someone dressed in old admiral's gear. Yes, yeah, <laughs> same and they're, venue. Yeah, and they're they're having a beer. Yeah. fucking yeah. yeah, yeah I nice. Agree. Whoop whoop. Overrated. Old settler days of Mulvane's better than Riverfest. Overrated. I would rather stay at my house mm. uh, and mow the yard. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Paternity test TV shows overrated really there's enough of these and they're not even real it's like the nfl it's, it's like awesome. same <laughs> it's, it's maury yeah it's, it's maury yeah, yeah. No, no, there's a shitload of them was there really oh god dude daytime springer time. used to do it quite a bit did springer, springer jenny, jenny jones, jenny jones did ricky lake time. Yeah. okay okay hold on a second hold on a second okay. sally jesse raphael yeah all the ninja turtles all the ninja turtles did it. <laughs> <laughs> no but do you honestly think that oh sorry Thank uh, do, you. do you honestly think that? that was a hell of a setup. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. <laughs> do you honestly think that the that that's the, how you set somebody up? Not by writing stupid things on the <laughs> fucking. Just, have you seen the Ninja Turtles? Have the Ninja They're, Turtles are in they town. They live in the sewer. They like pizza. Okay. <laughs> like have you pizza. heard about this? The pizza, the not pizza just regular the pizza. <laughs> Fuck you both. They um, eat so much pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Their skin turned green. <laughs> Do you, do you honestly think that? Shells. Do you honestly think that Maury is is scripted? Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. all of it is. All of it is. There's, I, I think there's people. Connie that, Chung told me. There's people here. There's a comic that's been on one of those shows. Really? No, I'm sure. Yeah, dude. So many people have been on Springer. Yeah, like, I, I believe Springer was always scripted. When Springer oh. died, everybody that I fucking came out of the woodwork. Yeah. Oh, oh, I was on that show in '93. I was on that show then. I was on the show then. That makes sense. Yeah. Springer's uh, Jerry's uh, show was. They I were think, all scripted. I just didn't think Maury's was. Yeah, for sure. Maury, Maury's looked legit. No. No? I think it's all scripted. It's all scripted. It's like the NFL, man. I think yeah, it, man. I, I think these are underrated. They pay to get those people on the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Like but the people's court. I think if you get on the court shows, then they pay the whatever oh, yeah. you're suing for. They pay yeah, you Yeah, they anyway. pay you anyway, whether you win or lose. Yeah. And they fucking put you up in a badass hotel and give you a bunch of fucking money to spend long story short i did know somebody that went on one of the people's court shows Mm -hmm. and they went on there twice and they flipped spots both times and they were both best friends yeah so i know that one is bullshit they don't do they're all bullshit scotty the whole world is fucking rigged all of it Mm -hmm. you think so yeah we're all scripted fine it's like the truman show yep i'm in for that and if i don't see you good afternoon good evening good good night yep (laughs) yeah that's right that's true so I think all of us are going overrated for paternity shows. Yep. Mm-hmm. Except for me. I think they're real. So uh, that's mine. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Every major company making a rainbow logo for Pride Month. These goddamn the homosexuals. You, the way that you say that, what? I feel like you're going to say overrated. Mm, you don't? No, I want to let you go first. Mm, I want to see what you say. I don't give a fuck. Well, that I don't makes me fuck. like you less. Really? Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck. I think it's a money grab, is what I think, and it and I think it, it is, and I think it fails a lot more than than you think, um, because you piss off a lot of people that are like white and straight and fucking middle American. My favorite is the people yeah. that are like, "Well, when straight Pride Month?" Yeah, all the yeah. other ones. Yeah, all, every other month. all the other months. I yeah. think it is underrated. You do? I do. It means a lot to you? Absolutely it does because it it fucking shines a light on our community and it's a pride thing and it's fucking awesome that they're willing to contribute and fucking be a part of it. Okay. See, with me personally, I I don't care. It it means nothing to me. You know what, man? I like you. I try to like you, man. (laughs) I do. And I want to like you. But, dude, I'm about a fucking two seconds away from fucking taking off these earphones and going to smoke another bowl. Now, I'm going to come back, (laughs) but I'm not high enough for this shit. 
fine. I, I, I think it's rated. That's just me. You think it's rated? I think it's just rated. Yeah. Okay. It, I, I, I do think it's a big money grab, though. Yeah. I, and it, I don't it, like. I don't like that. I think it is a money grab in a sense, but I also don't think it's a bad. I don't. I don't think it's. I think it's good to sh- to show that. I think a lot of those companies. All of it's a money grab. Um, the breast cancer right, thing right. is I a mean, money grab. Right, but they're 100%. also. But most of them are also donating to right. charities These that not. that make a difference. For in our community, whether it be AIDS, whether it be fucking just equal rights or whatever, whatever, whatever it is, they're all donating a percentage of money to a lot of them. A- a- AIDS thing charity. I get, equal rights I don't, but AIDS thing I get, and I think that's of cool. Of course, equal rights. You haven't got equal rights since you, uh, yeah, I don't think you're for equal rights. I am not? No. Why not? Because I know you already don't like black people. Oh! Oh, what? I mean, why you gotta do that? Right. Am I wrong? God no, damn it! You're not wrong. See, you gotta make mean, it that. No, um, I'm just kidding. No, but like, I, like to finish my point. Oh, I go do, for it. I do think it is. I do think it's a bit of a money grab because it's just, but it's the same thing as it, like support the military sure. month. It's Bingo. the same for thing sure. as this breast cancer thing. Yeah. It's let's make a different colored great. logo of the same thing. However, or like let's I say that. However, the, hang on. However, the difference is. As there's not some big CEO of homosexuality that is reaping in all. I'm trying, things. man. <laughs> I'm just, right. Someday I hope to yeah, be. That's making like thirty-two million. I hope to be the year. Vince McMahon of gay people. <laughs> <laughs> Someday. So I I also think that it is a good thing because part of the, you doing that with your company is you do risk pissing people off doing it. Yeah. And if you're gonna show yourself and say fuck you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and then this is I this like is what it. we're yeah. doing. Then I'm gonna say underrated for that. I'll awesome. give you that. I awesome. like that answer. That's a good one. All right, and last one, overrated or underrated, Segway racing. That's a thing? If it's not, it needs to be. Okay. I didn't know that was a thing. Could it be a thing? Where'd you even get this? uh, Have you heard about these Segways? (laughs) (laughs) Apparently, (laughs) apparently they're racing. (laughs) They're racing them up and down the streets. Unlike Scotty, Scotty is a racist Segway. (laughs) (laughs) Segway into racist Scotty. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no no i want okay fine drunk segway racing well if, of course if you're fucking segway racing you're not doing it sober <laughs> this people, is not yeah i would rather just watch people fall on hoverboards which is the best thing in the world yeah. to me. yes segway racing yes and so it's like the old chariots of the roman chariots yes. but without the horses yes. i like it yes overrated this, or underrated i mean this is a great yeah. million dollar underrated idea. i like it i think we need to take out go-karts at at like you know those those places with putt putt and then and they just have put segway racing and just there. put segway racing in there i think that you should would be open a up a time. spot I, I should. I need a a, a crowd fund. Scotty Segway no, Emporium. You can just afford it. Man. I'll make my I'll make my logo of my company rainbow for you, and donate money. I wouldn't fucking visit your Segway track. <laughs> it was the last Segway track on earth. Oh, come on. I'll make them all go in reverse. I, I, <laughs> 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 yeah, there you go. Except for JP. Yeah. JP's yeah. goes forward. Everybody uh, else goes backwards. I like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, no, I crashed I'm again. Back in, I'm back in. I'm back in. <laughs> and JP has rear-ended another, another racer. racer. <laughs> another racer goes down. <laughs> Oh, that's great. We're going to need a hose to separate this one. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. All right, fine. Uh, now we get to move on to, yep, I'm that guy and fuck that guy. Uh, this this one is uh, it's becoming a lot of fun. I, I really I like do. this one. I, I'm sure you do. Um, so first one uh, is also from a listener coming in from Twitter. Uh, this is from Ryan Howell. He wants to know the guy who puts the twist tie back on the loaf of bread. I'm totally that guy. Yeah, why 100%. wouldn't why wouldn't you yeah. put the twist tie back on there, man? That's fucking bohemian. Yeah. It's fucking you're gonna ruin the bread, bruh. What do you do? Just twist it around and set the bread on top of the package and so many points. I know things. all his bread is white bread. I know, I know that. that. Yeah, there ain't no doubt about that. No. White bread is not as good as wheat bread. <laughs> oh, why? Why do you take the time to even What put... do you do? I just do this. Yeah, <laughs> it's really it doesn't take that much time. Why really. do you take that second? Yeah. It doesn't take any time. It is so much more efficient to 
you can even suck the air out of the bag. I don't do that, but I squeeze the air out of the bag. Oh, I heard he fucking twist the air right, all completely out of the bag. Twist the loaf, let it spin, Look, and then fold bag, it over and put it on airless. top of the fucking twist. I'm gonna break into Scotty's house with right. I knew. I knew you were that guy. I knew you were the guy that twisted and then just sets the loaf on top. Yes. You're a douche. Why? Take the extra half second and put the fucking thing back on it. No. It's Next. not even a twist tie anymore. It's just that plastic thing. It's even easier. And it doesn't do a good job. Sure it does. No, it doesn't. If you do it right. Next time you're on vacation, I'm coming to your house. I'm breaking in and I'm going to have like nine twisty ties. And I'm just, just twisty. Tie up all your all bread. I, I, like, with the amount uh, that it costs for bread, I will throw all of it away and go down the street and right, buy. Right, because you're I'm rich. Gonna, I'm going to just be that one Scotty's guy. Scotty's rich. That, he just fucking buys a loaf. Every, every time Scotty wants to make a sandwich, he just buys a new loaf of bread. But I give but I <laughs> give the extra loaves of bread that I buy because like I have Panera, so much. Like Panera? You give it, it to the homeless? I, I, no, I give it to the homosexual foundation. The people I, I, at Riverfest. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all of the they're, all, they're all in the river. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fuck. Okay. I'm going to yeah. gaslight, Scott, gaslight Scotty, and every time he goes to work, I'm just going to come in and twisty tie. Twisty tie his bread. <laughs> He's like, who the fuck keeps doing this? <laughs> Maybe you're sleep tying, honey. That's. Fuck uh, these guys. <laughs> Anyways, uh, next one. Yep, I'm that guy, or fuck that guy. This is also from a listener that uh, messaged us on Twitter. This is from Wes Rackley. He wants to know, the guy that catches a foul ball at a baseball game and does not give it to a kid. Fuck that kid. Yeah, <laughs> fuck that kid. I'm with you. I've been to countless yeah, baseball dude. games that have never caught a foul ball. The last thing I'm going to do is give it away. Yeah, well, I'll push you that kid to down it. Yeah, to get right. the foul ball. Oh. I'll let it bounce off of his stupid fucking head. <laughs> and then fucking catch <laughs> it on the rebound. And then catch it in my beer, mm. chug my beer, and act like I did something. Oh. <laughs> I'm with you, man. I, I, uh, if I catch the foul ball, I'm going to probably give it to a kid. I'm not a douchebag. Trying to get. Some oh, money. I disagree. I, I, uh, well, I kind of am he, a douchebag. Like, hey, yeah, I, uh, I wholeheartedly disagree. <laughs> he's like, hey, kid, get in the van. I'll give you a foul ball. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Look, I promise. Game used. <laughs> it's game used. It's been hot out here. I got two foul balls for you. Yeah. Uh, no, no. I, I would give it to a kid. A man in Wichita. <laughs> uh, have, you, have you heard about? <laughs> have you heard about this? <laughs> fuck you guys. Apparently, he had some balls in the van. Uh, uh, uh fuck that guy. I, th I think that guy can can rot in hell. I even saw it whenever a, a player was trying to throw it to a kid over and the people fence snag it. and, and a seen that. big fat guy that looks yeah. kind of like Derek comes in it might have been me it <laughs> could have been Derek it comes and grabs the ball out of the yeah. head and then even the player on the field's like what the fuck dude yeah fuck that guy I'd be like throw him yeah, another but one the, but then the player went and got a bat and a jersey and something else and gave it to the kids chased so the kid down that out fat like ass yeah. with a yellow shirt on and yeah, beat man. the shit out of him yeah. I would have done that you know those baseball players all wear matching t-shirts they do <laughs> but anyways, uh, how about you, JP? Fuck that guy or you're that guy? I don't know. I'm probably that guy. <laughs> you are that guy? I don't guy? care about kids. I know you don't. If Evil. I can't have them, Evil. I don't care about them. Fine. Uh, next one. Yep, I'm that guy or fuck that guy. The guy that needs five alarms to go off in the morning in order to get out of bed. I'm that guy, but fuck my wife for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> 100 percent i'm totally that guy but she's that girl and she wakes up earlier before than you do yeah so i'm like god fucking damn it <laughs> okay. i'm like trying to find my phone because it's the same generic alarm so i'm just like god i want to turn it off yeah and then i have to kick her in the back <laughs> i'm that guy too I'm definitely that guy. I yeah. snooze my phone four or five times. We're all that guy. Yeah, yeah I I struggle to get up in the morning. Um, and so I need alarms. My defense, I smoke a lot of weed. That's <laughs> so true. So it's hard for me to get up anyway. That's true. I don't. I, I don't, but I get up very early in the morning, and so I do. I, I have get up to really have, early, too. I, ha I have oh, to yeah, be at work do. by 10. You, you do. Oh, that's really early. Congratulations. <laughs> that's right. I have to be at work at 6 a.m., oh, dog. Fuck that. Okay, so, so yeah, I have to have an alarm to wake up an alarm that I need to be in the shower, an alarm to be, be ready to go, and then an alarm for me to be on the road. That's how bad it is. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I'm that guy. Okay. Okay. Uh, next one. Yep, I'm that guy or fuck that guy. Uh, the best guy friend for your spouse. What do you mean? You know how your spouse always has that best guy friend? Oh, he's just my best guy friend. 
No, she didn't have that. She didn't have that? No. That you know about. I no, may be her not. best guy friend. No, she fucking hates No, it. she does not like you. <laughs> I know that. She's a better girlfriend than my wife. She will. She's way cooler than to, know, to, know, to like you. She's a pretty good judge of character. Yeah, I'm, she's a real yeah. good judge of character. She is. I do like your wife. She's very nice. Uh, but no, your 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 wife or your spouse or your girlfriend in the past never had like a best guy friend when you were dating her? Oh, yeah, she did. Uh, and I told him that I was going to kick his fucking ass. <laughs> yeah, so fuck that guy. Yeah. And JP, have you ever had a spouse that had like a best Not guy a friend? Spouse. Well, I mean, like for your situation, it's a little because bit different. Because we can't get married because okay. we're the gays. No, you, and you because you're going because to hell. Can, and we're going to hell. Yeah, and, that's, you know. There's that. Oh, well, gluttony is a fucking sin, my, too. Uh, Derek's going to go my, to hell um, for that one. My ex had a, a best friend that was a dude, and uh, I hated him. See? So fuck that guy. Okay, fair Richard. Enough. Richard. Yeah, fuck that oh, guy. Hey, Richard, go fuck yourself. <laughs> he probably could. He had a huge dick. <laughs> fuck. No, I don't know if that's true. Okay, well. Uh, he probably did. He was tall, skinny. Bigger than yours? Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Watch oh, it be small. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, and last one. Yep, I'm that guy, or fuck that guy. The guy who takes slow pitch softball way too seriously. Fuck that guy. <laughs> my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the best man at my wedding uh, plays slow pitch softball back in Illinois. And there has been, tw- I think, twice, at least once, that he was up visiting and cut his visit short because, because he, forgot, he had to play softball. He forgot that they were in like the softball playoffs, so he went home oh to play boy. fucking softball. <laughs> and I was like, "Are you fucking serious?" He's like, "Dude, I'm so sorry. I fucking forgot." And I'm like, "What was right. that? That scared me." I fucking hate these people. <laughs> I really do. He's still my best friend, but <laughs> at I'm least like, he's not Dude. a snowboarder. Uh, That's true. I, I could I, be worse. I don't take it that seriously. Like, uh, it's a pretty chill sport. I got a board up on the on the wall. Yeah, that's fine. But I can tell you right now, if I'm going to visit my best friend, I'm not cutting it. Yeah, I'm cutting it short. Okay. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. No, dude. You don't have a best friend. <laughs> I do too. Who? His name's Michi. Uh, I'd have to meet him. Uh, I can I can I can set it up. Okay. Totally straight. I, I have some answers. I have some fucking questions. <laughs> I'd like some answers to. So I'd love to meet the guy. I haven't talked to him in a minute. I gotta I gotta reach out to him anyway. God, but. I thought he was gonna try and say me. <laughs> No, he's definitely not going to say you. Off okay. off camera, it's Derek and Jeremy Joseph. Oh, uh, <laughs> yes. I would draw my name from that. No, but seriously, fuck these guys. Fuck yeah. everybody that takes softball way too seriously. It, you are so out of your prime, but I'm talking about like the guys that are out in the game that are bitching about the rules at a co Technically, I am that guy. <clears throat> Why? Because wouldn't you say... No that slow pitch softball and bowling are no. pretty much the same. No, I don't think that there, no. the, you know, the guys I'm talking about, and it's definitely not you. I think when somebody's passionate about a sport, then that's something that's legit. And I think that uh, anytime that I made fun of you about bowling, I apologize so much because you're actually very good at it. Yeah. But fuck the pride thing, but fuck the pride <laughs> thing. Yeah. <laughs> Faggot. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> basically is what you just said. No. Yeah. I respect you. Yeah. I respect that you bowl. Baby but, steps, baby steps. Okay. Shaping. We'll take it. What? Where in the fuck is this coming from? Oh, man. No, that's fine. I think it's a great. Thank and God I- you're not black. <laughs> fuck. I would never be on the show. Uh-uh. He wouldn't let you. Have you ever had a black person on the show? Uh, No. I, I, oh, I've that's asked, weird. No, my best friend. I kind of want him but to be he on. Won't, he won't do it. No. Uh, no, actually, he wants to. I, I'm scared of the stories that he would fucking yeah, tell. Yeah, dude, I want to be on that show. <laughs> yeah, me too. Fuck yeah. Matt Rife. I want to be with that guy. No. Yeah, fuck Matt Rife for sure. Like, if he would let me. No, but really, you know the guys I'm talking about. Okay, I, man, I, I, I totally get it. Yeah, I'm, the, I'm with the you. guys that are out on the field but bitching they're... about, like, the rules and stuff and, like, like being way, way over dramatic about calls and shit like that. Like, those people need to go to hell. There's a special place in hell, actually, where they belong. All right. So, fuck yeah, that guy. I'm with you. Okay? I'm on your, I'm on your side on everybody this everybody one. good? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we had a slow pitch. Uh, softball game before the game on Saturday. <laughs> Do you really? And it was the cops against the fire. fire <laughs> yeah. I wish and if it was the robbers. <laughs> I wish <laughs> if it was the cops. I thought for sure you were going to no. say robbers. No, but that I was so great. disappointed when you didn't say the <laughs> robbers. <laughs> That would have been fucking great. We got the cops versus the robbers. Uh, have you heard about this? Have you heard about this? Uh, Wichita. <laughs> the cops play slow pitch softball. Actually, there was. I uh, was the robbers. I'll, I'll let you finish your story. I was dying laughing because I was sitting there and I had asked the, one of the ladies upstairs. I was like, hey, I think if they walk, 
like if they if they take a walk, they should have to do like the eye one foot in front of the other, other down the yeah, baseline, yeah. arms and out uh, to your side, yeah, point yeah. to your nose, say your ABCs backwards <laughs> yeah. on the way. And I believe Derek, go with me on this, but uh, actually in Wichita, Kansas, I believe it was the original Lawrence Dumont Stadium. Oh, you talking about the Klan and the yep. uh, and the Negro League people or whatever? Yep. Yeah, they yep. actually did have a game. They had a Klan Negro game. Yeah, yeah. in and Wichita, it was it was actually believe it or not civil. I don't know how the fuck that would have. I would have killed the fucking Klan, <laughs> the oh. Klan guys. Yeah. Well, because it was in Wichita, so there's probably enough Klansmen there that they there's were actually like, an ah. article about it. In, yeah, uh, in the Negro League Hall of Fame is where I first saw the saw the article. Yep. in Kansas City, and there's an article about it. In how the, do these people not get murdered? The Klan people? Yes. Yeah. I don't know. They hide it. I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh, I bet you're guessing. <laughs> seems like you're pretty definitive. I don't know. I wouldn't call that a guess. You seemed pretty. Uh, you seem pretty sure of yourself there. <laughs> this is one of those times uh, where you say something out loud and you go, whoops. "Fuck! I just set myself yeah. up." <laughs> oh man. Oh Jesus! But no, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how those people are. Yeah, that's aren't, crazy. Like, shot and killed. Yeah, okay. But, but yeah, that's. Uh, there's some fun fun filled his, uh, history and stuff like that but that's June 21st 1925 and go. just so we all we all knew anyway but we the did. blacks did win <laughs> yeah of course they did, <laughs> uh, they did win of course they did surprise <laughs> I didn't want to leave you guys on a cliffhanger there yeah. Uh, but yeah a bunch of dumb fucking idiots <laughs> lost that game <laughs> well <laughs> oh shit to you can't play baseball in robes <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can't play very well in hoods. Yeah, right. yeah. You can't, can't see, see that it. pitch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ooh. god damn. She got his eyes again. He missed yeah. that fly ball. <laughs> oh, shit. All and right. Jimmy Bobby <laughs> Jimmy. Raymond the third yeah. is uh, He's out again. Yeah. <laughs> Cletus. All right. Well, that is. Yeah. Cletus tries to steal <laughs> second. Wait a minute. He's tripped on his robe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, shit. Well, that is Yep, I'm that guy and fuck that guy. Uh, again, if you have any suggestions, you can send them to us at laughing on the sidelines on Instagram or at LOTS, uh, I'm sorry, LOT sidelines on Twitter. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Woo! This week's first question is What movie do you wish Morgan Freeman would have narrated? I don't know if this counts. It's not really a movie. Okay. Okay. But the Planet Earth documentaries. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I wish that Morgan Freeman, and like, you know, Snoop Dogg's done some of them. Yeah. Yes. So I wish it was those two together. Together? Yeah, that would oh. be dope. Morgan Freeman and Snoop Dogg together on those would be so good. I just yeah. want him to be like two of the animals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, oh hell no, cuz what do you mean? <laughs> what I'm is the a... meaning of this life? Yeah. I'm not your said cause. the rabbit. Yeah, yeah, dude. Uh, so that'd be mine, I guess. That'd be yours. I think I think it would be absolutely hilarious if he did like the whole Friday series, like Friday and next Friday. I think that would have been fucking hilarious. Either that or don't be a menace. I think that'd be funny too. He did get fired on his day off. <laughs> <laughs> he for he had smoked too much marijuana. <laughs> he had smoked way too much marijuana. Uh, how about you, Derek? I went with the Big Lebowski. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. That's I, like good. That. I like that. Just I imagine that. That rug really tied the room together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it was a dirty, rotten shame. <laughs> and he proceeded to beat the shit out of that Corvette. He never rolls on Shabbos. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nobody does fuck with the Jesus. <laughs> All right. Uh, Terrible Morgan Freeman impressions. <laughs> hey, it's okay. It, it passes. Uh, next one. If you could organize a field trip to show young people how life really works, where would you take them? The DMV. Ooh, that's a good one. That is a good one. I do. Yeah. yeah that That's... God, life sucks. <laughs> you sit there, you wait forever, and then you pay money, and then you don't get anything for it. No, and a sticker. You get a sticker. Yeah, yeah. You, you get a sticker yeah. for that you can put on your yeah. car. You DMV can even wear it, for sure. You can't wear it on your shirt. What kind of bullshit is yeah. that? Uh, mine's close to that. Uh, I did like small claims court. Okay. That's a real life problem. So people Family take, court. Oh, oh yeah. Divorce. Imagine if you had like a kid in fifth grade, you took him to like uh, like divorce court. Mm -hmm. Oh God! And his parents are still together. Whoo! Yeah, it's bad shit. That's people's divorce court. It's people's not even divorce real court. court. It's not even. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they need. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Jerry Springer show. That's where I'm taking him. Or Maury. 
Or an NFL game. <laughs> it's all scripted. That one kid, it wasn't even his parents. Yeah. That, that was, yeah, that, yeah. How about you, Derek? Disney World. Disney World? I would take them to Disney World. Really? We would get right up front. We would go to purchase tickets, and then we would immediately leave. And then, yeah. Just to show them what disappointment is. <laughs> okay. Because that, my friends, is is life (laughs) excited only to be let down (laughs) that happens when you have sex (laughs) at least to my wife it does okay uh yeah it just ruins your your life sucks okay all right uh next one what jobs would i'm sorry what jobs would a retired drill sergeant not be very good at librarian Ooh, that'd be good like or a toll booth collector Tollbooth Willie. Tollbooth Willie. Holy fuck yourself, you son of a bitch. I'll bash your fucking head in with a Louisville fucking slugger. What do you think of that ass, fuck? <laughs> you got to pay your quarter, you son of a bitch. <laughs> what, do you don't know how to count? Get down and give me 10. Yeah, no, uh, I put uh, yoga instructor. Yeah, that's a good I, one. I think that's, like, can you imagine Jeremy doing yoga with a dude just, like, directly in his face? Downward and downward doggy, motherfucker! Like, I've I done yoga it. with a dude right in my face. <laughs> Actually, my throat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it was hot yoga. <laughs> of course it was, yeah. JP. Thanks, yeah. thanks. You're thanks, welcome. buddy. You're welcome. Derek? Therapist? Nah, I think he'd be pretty honest with you. No, I just imagined. Your father never loved you. <laughs> he thought you were a piece of shit with a ton of dick. <laughs> you are a disgusting fat body. <laughs> what, what is this? I feel what like I'm, in the hell is this? I feel like I'm back at my therapist's office right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's a jelly donut, sir. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. All right. Fair enough. And are we allowed to have jelly donuts? Okay. Okay. Uh, next one. Two girls, one cup was bad, but blank was way worse. Four dikes in a bucket. (laughs) (laughs) I can say that, right? God damn it. (laughs) Was that yours? I had nine midgets in a bucket. Oh, okay. (laughs) Same bucket. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. uh, Mine was four guys, one bar stool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not as great as you'd think <laughs> i'm sure it's not not big enough right yeah the Good. legs are so <laughs> skinny god damn it fuck oh that's good all right and last question what is an activity you shouldn't have to take a shower after but you are definitely going to this podcast doing this podcast <laughs> that was my answer wichita river festival yeah. that is uh questions and preguntas i knew we were gonna have the same one. answer on that one <laughs> fucking you jackasses yeah uh but again I had guys to sit next to him dibs first on the shower thanks guys yeah. i had to sit it. next to him last week i hate when jeremy's yeah. here because then i gotta sit over there yeah Fuck. wow all right. Oh, well, thank Your you. Your microphone fucking reeks, by the way. What? <laughs> nice. What's why does what is that about? I think Scotty shoves it in his ass. I believe that. I told last week, man. I mean, I just kept smelling ass, and I know what ass smells like. And it was your microphone. I'm fairly sure because this week I seem to be okay. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. This is fine. Yeah. It's no, weird. I, I'm yeah. telling you, it's not yeah, me. Okay. It's not me. Now, what my dogs do in their spare time down here is a totally different story. I thought I smelled Freddy. <laughs> All right. Well, that is, or ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas. And again, if you have any uh, suggestions, you can send them to us at LOT Sidelines on Twitter. We sincerely do appreciate it. But now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. I don't know why I still do these. (sighs) Why? I don't know why I even do these things anymore. I never win. Actually, on a technicality, you won. Because the other guy's not here? That's correct. (laughs) That's usually how I win. Jeremy is not here this week. Jeremy wins every time. Yeah, he's he's the fan fake. Yeah, Yeah, that's cool. So, uh, But Jeremy did win last week's draft. And uh, what did we draft, JP? Do you remember? 
Nope. Uh, well, that's okay. I, I, I'll i figure it out. Uh, but Jeremy did win uh, last week's draft, and I came in dead last. Um, Derek always wins these things. So this week he's going to be the sandwich picks. He's going to be smack dab in the middle. JP is going to get the back-to-back championship picks at the end by technicality. Yay. And I get, uh, you know, the first pick because I suck at life. Um, but last week's draft was the bucket list. Oh, that's right. Bucket list. Yep, yeah. Draft. I said it earlier. I wanted to go back. and This week, I am giving you guys a total heads up that it will not be on Facebook. There is no way this could stay up on Facebook. And that's because this week's draft is going to be our favorite insults to use. All right. Yes. So this is Twitter stuff only, basically. So you can go to Twitter, which is at lot sidelines and vote for who wins this week's draft do uh, subscribe to us on that that's where a lot of fun stuff is going to start posting uh all of our other stuff will stay up but that's kind of where it's leading to because of things like this this week's draft is going to be our favorite insults to use towards another person awesome and i get the first pick uh this week and my favorite word in the entire English language hey, hold is on, hold on, whoa, 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 yo. Whoa. What? You can't say, you can't <laughs> say that, <laughs> oh, man. Fuck yeah. you. That's not cool. My favorite word to call anybody is I'm going to call him a cunt. That is my favorite fucking word. I love calling people cunts, okay. and it's got a hell of a wallet. People get very, very pissed off over that one. So that's my first pick, Derek. Fuck tard. <laughs> Fuck tard. That's Fuck-tard. always a good that, one. Yeah. That yeah, we've been using that since sixth grade, but that's okay. I love it. I know you do. I know you do. Uh, JP, what do you got? Uh, someday you'll go far, and I hope you stay there. Okay, yeah. I like that one. Okay, and then you get uh, your second pick. You remember that time you said something I didn't care about? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. That's it. All right, fine. Uh, and uh, Derek, you get your second pick. Crunchy tits. <laughs> Crunchy tits. <laughs> All I can think about is like titties filled with Captain Crunch. <laughs> Crunchy tits. If yeah. titties were filled with Captain Crunch, I'd eat a lot more titty. Uh, My wife hates that one. Crunchy tits. She does? Yes. <laughs> Is that where you come in between her tits and then she doesn't wash it off <laughs> until the next day? Oh, God. Crunchy tits. That's fucking. That's fucking great. All right, I fucking love that one. I'm gonna use Good that one. Listen here, yeah. crunchy tits. I don't know what your problem is. Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh, this is one that I used on Derek a very long time ago whenever he was talking some major shit and he actually laughed at it. So I knew it was good. And, uh, I told him that I, I envy those who have not met you is what I responded back I like to that. him. So, and I mean every fucking word of that, by the way. Good. Yeah. Um, I envy them too. Yeah. My, uh, Next pick is one I use a lot as well. Even I call myself this from time to time. But if I call this to you, you're in a lot of trouble. And that is twat, twat waffle. waffle. I knew it. Mm-hmm. Yep. I love calling people twat waffle. So that's uh, that's my next pick. Uh, Derek, your next one. <clears throat> Cunty McShit lips. <laughs> McShit lips. That's what you call me sometimes. Sea missile for short. <laughs> sea missile. <laughs> C missile, CMSL. That's all right. I like it. And uh, JP, your you get two in a row. Uh, let's go with uh, your secrets are always safe with me. I don't listen to a thing you say anyway. <laughs> okay, got that. All right. And uh, uh, your next pick. I hope your wife brings a date to your funeral. <laughs> oh wow, that's kind of rough, dude. You really hate that person that you tell that to, though. I do. Fuck that guy. I do, yeah. Uh, Derek, your next pick. Uh, I'm going to go uh, old school style. Uh, you big dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> okay. You big dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> but if I heard it once, I heard it a million times. <laughs> oh, I like it. I love that one. I know who I'd say that to. <sighs> Man. Big dumb son of a bitch. I know. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I know. Okay. I, I think I have it. said that <laughs> to someone before. <laughs> Okay, I uh, if somebody does something stupid, 
I, I tell them that they have gone full retard. So, so that's, that's your next one. That is my next okay. one. Gone full retard. Oh, shit. Our retarded listeners are going to be pissed. Ah, they like, they have comedy. They, they, they know what comedy is. They get it. They get it. Just a lot slower than most people yeah. do. Um, <laughs> and they all listen to the podcast together on the bus. <laughs> yeah. Um, son of a bitch. I, I don't, I don't know. But I, I, I'm, I don't use this one enough, but I, I started it a, little, a couple of episodes ago, and I've been using it on a regular basis. Here it comes. I'm gonna call people, I call people sometimes Sister Fister. Sister Fister. Sister Fister is uh, my last pick. Okay. And Derek, what is your last pick? Fuckle Stiltskin. <laughs> Fuckle, Fuckle Stiltskin may win it. That might do I it. I like that. Yeah. Okay. That's good. I love that one. Shit. I do too. And JP, your final I'm going pick. back old school on this one, too. Uh, motherfucking cocksucking two-bald bitch. <laughs> ah, a little Jeremy Rush little there. little Jeremy Rush there. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Uh, did you have any honorable mentions, anybody? Uh, yeah, I mean, but we'll save them. Yeah, we'll save them. Let the listeners come up with yeah. them. I, I don't know. Like, like I did, I, I kind of want a couple more, but especially from us. I use twat swatter a lot, too. Those are the people that, um, you know, block people from getting some puss. Fuck those people. Um, but eh, if you guys have any good ones, be sure to leave comments on Twitter. They allow those, I think. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> but go to at L-O-T sidelines and vote for your list uh, or your favorite list of insults and use them regularly to people that you don't like because that's what we're here for on this show. Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is our laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and now is our laughing on the sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and not Legos. Jeremy's not here this week. Uh, what do you want it to be brought by this week, Derek? Do you know? Oh, gosh. I don't know. Bed Bath & Beyond. Bed Bath & Beyond. Did they change their <laughs> logo there, JP? They did change their logo. Good for them. Now they're yep. just beyond. Well, are they? Now, are you going to go buy some candles? They're out of business, bro. Yeah. Are they really? Yeah, yeah, they're going out of business. So, but they still change their logo, though. They're, yeah. sp- they're oh. sponsoring us. They're that's, sponsoring. That's what yeah. happened. Right. Perfect. That's why they're going out of business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shareholders were like, nope, nope. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, this week's laughing on the sidelines. All they sell is Bud Light now. Yeah. <laughs> and Just clo- for June. And clothes from Target. And clothes from Target. Yeah, for sure. Uh, this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is you are in the movie Two Girls, One Cup. If you have not seen that video, please Check do us a out. favor and go and search it on the internet. I'm sure you'll find it. It's going to be very grainy now. Sure will. It will be. Uh, less, funny. less. I mean, it'll be low definition, but it's still worth a good watch. 360p. And then you will get the <laughs> reference. That's actually in the movie, too, a 360p. 360p. <laughs> <That's- laughs> It'll be shown at your local theaters know. here soon. Just on a merry-go-round. Hang out. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, but yes, Howdy-ho. so mm-hmm. your situation is, would you rather be one of the two girls or the cup? <laughs> <laughs> I've never uh, seen this actually. You have never? No. Not even can't. like the first 10 seconds? Yeah. No, but don't they eat? Yeah, this they shit? eat it and they spit it back and forth into each other's mouths. I gotta be the cup. I'm going for the <laughs> cup day, too. Yeah. I'm going for the cup too. Yeah. I this couldn't. Is- this is a bad situation. And I've always yeah. wanted to be a girl, but not in not <laughs> not not in no 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 cup. We found the line. We yeah, found the line. We did. We shit found is the line. Not always though, because I would let Matt Rife shit on me <laughs> if that's what it took. If if he was like, look, I'll fucking let you suck my dick. Here's some coffee, but I'm gonna shit on your chest first. Okay, okay. and you're. I like, would be like, as long as you wipe it right back off, <laughs> I'm good with it. What I'll, if he just leaves it on there? Well, I'm okay with that too. <laughs> oh God, that's so disgusting. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, that's absolutely revolting. Um, 
This is this is terrible. This is so awful. You, know did you, have you can't you can't pick both. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah you I don't want to pick both. both. Scotty's both. made his own homemade <laughs> version. <laughs> oh no, this is with uh, what's her name, the blow up doll, <laughs> Vicky. Vicky, yeah. Vicky, yeah. yeah, Vicky, Scotty, and a okay, cup. JP, have you actually seen this? Yes. Okay, oh, it's, I've, I haven't seen it all, but I saw enough. <laughs> what's enough? Oh, there's probably cliffhangers. You got you got to finish it. I'm JJ. sure there are, but I'm gonna go. Lots of Easter eggs. Yeah, lots of Easter, lots of Easter, Easter eggs to find. And the plot now, is really once thick. they started eating it. That yeah. was where I was like, <laughs> oh, "This is I can't." And this is maybe the grossest thing yeah, I've ever awful. seen in my life. It was pretty I, awful. I, I, the time I saw it, we were we were. Uh, probably in our early 20s and i saw for the very first time we were getting ready to go to a club to get girls and i saw that and that ruined the night that's how mm. bad it was you were like i'm bringing my own cup. you think it ruined it for you i started sucking dick <laughs> no <laughs> kidding. like if this is what girls do i don't want any Fuck part of it that yeah. that oh, was the moment. that was the that, moment that was the moment yeah now we know i i got i guess i gotta pick one so i guess i'm also going to go with the cup uh i Duh. It's it's so disgusting. It may be the grossest thing to ever be put on film, except for four guys, one bar stool. That's pretty gross yeah. too. So. Four dikes in a bucket, no <laughs> fucking picnic. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. As much as I would love to name this episode Four Dykes in a Bucket. I don't think I would like that. They would not like no, that. No. I'm midget. probably already gonna get canceled. Maybe six midgets in a shot glass. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Which is basically a bucket. <laughs> yeah, it's a midget bucket. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Well, all right, so we all went cup. We all went cup. Uh, Derek, do you? I believe you do have a show coming up uh, soon. Uh, we're like a month out. We're a month out. Yep. Okay. All right. Yep, I'll be at the Looney Bin here in about a month. Make sure you guys keep your eyes peeled. Mike Is Bald- the Looney Bin going to be here in a month? As far as I know. Mm-hmm. Um, Mike Baldwin did have his special in Kansas City. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. congrats to Mike. Congrats to Mike. Big Watch ups. It. Big ups to Mike. Watch it. Definitely uh, watch it. Mike's uh, fucking awesome. Is he going to put it on, on social media? I think or? he's putting it on YouTube. Good for I him. I think, but he's not sure, so I don't want to speak for him. So, Well, uh, luckily enough, you got baseball next week. Yeah. And God. so. No, I don't have the baseball next week. You don't? You're off two weeks in a row? Yeah, it's two weeks in a row. Oh, fuck. We got to figure that out then. Um, but anyways, um, guys, do us a favor. Looks oh. like I just got bumped. No. <laughs> no, actually, you That's may not. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but anyways, go and check out. Uh, if he puts it out on it's social Pride media. Pride Month. Go ahead. Don't let me do the show. Cool. <laughs> no, JP, you are a staple during Pride Month. We have to have you on. I mean, or your house gets burnt down. Your choice. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want. <laughs> you choose whatever um but no if mike puts it on social media we will post it on our our channels oh, for sure on our twitter and things like that uh but obviously we want to support him in any way we can uh derek has his coming up in about a month and jp is going to be smoking weed in his bedroom telling jokes to himself because that's what he likes to do fuck yeah and they're fuck good yeah. too I'm sure. if i could remember any of them i'd be famous you sure would. <laughs> guys thank you very much for doing what you do for the show we sincerely do appreciate you commenting and sharing all of our posts that helps grow the show we do have a lot of listeners that are new so we appreciate all of you thank you for <laughs> surviving this one uh, but as always, guys, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. And if you don't like us, uh, we hope you walk in on your grandmother masturbating and you scare the living daylights out of each other to where she loses the toy inside of her. And now you have to play Gary, the granny gynecologist and help her fish the thing out. Oh, my God. That's the new porno uh, movie that we need to have. Mm. Uh, if, you, <laughs> if you don't like us. Tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. Please send bullets. <laughs> <laughs> until next time. Please, dear God, send bullets. <laughs> until, Keep laughing, assholes. Until next time. Keep laughing, assholes. We will see you later. Take care. <laughs>